we go. And I want to... I'm guessing he's probably still... Or he, he they, they? Well, he's they. Are still over on Janet's stream, but I want to thank Dark again. It was Dark that was matching donations, right? See, it's, it's so this time of night. Yes, it was Dark. Good. And not losing my mind completely. Uh, Dark did double up the donations while the other group was playing Talisman, which is awesome. That puts me up to, like, 240, which which is amazing. I uh, Last year, I didn't even come close to meeting my goal. And it, you know, I, I still raised some money, and, and I know it's important to try and to get the word out, but it was it was really kind of disappointing for me. Uh, the local Children's Miracle Network Hospital has actually helped out my nephew before. Uh, they've, they've, you know, they've helped somebody other, other than the, you know, countless other children they help. They, they've helped someone in my family, and I, I really, I really do like to be able to give back. So, so whether you donate, whether you're just hanging out, whether you're sharing the links, you know, just really thank you. And Arlie has Cajun pasta. Nice. Oh, Arlie, why, why, why is Arlie sorry? L last year wasn't your fault, hun. <laughs> you, you, are, you are not single-handedly responsible for uh, me meeting my extra life goal. That, that could get expensive. Oh, no, I, I don't think so, Arlie. I also, I wasn't at my most social during Extra Life last year, so it was, it, it wasn't, it was hard for me to reach out to. There, it, there, there were a lot of reasons that it, it didn't run as well as the year before or, or this year. I'm just going to adjust something quick here, and then I'm going to find something else to run. There we go. It, anything outside the the two hundred I was hoping for is 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 not expected or anything. But I I might as well bump up the total and and see what happens or goal total. I, I will still do hair. Hair hair is done as of two hundred. Oh, Arlie. That you know, and that and that helps. If you can't run a stream, you know, throw throw people at us. That that totally works.
Oh, that's not a very good one. totally and last year I also couldn't donate very much I mean I I'm pretty sure I, was I was I unemployed I don't remember if I was unemployed yeah yeah I I wasn't working for extra life last year uh, I I really really couldn't donate so so no like I said y you coming here and giving me somebody to talk with especially getting into you know 13 14 hours in that <laughs> that really makes a difference I am so close to having one of mine, one of these guys, upgraded more. Uh, again, for non-players, Aegis is something they added in Tokyo to kind of kind of level the playing field. The monsters and enemies in Tokyo all have these Aegis shields that you need the special equipment to take the shield down before you get at their actual health. Having good regular gear helps. You know, it helps a lot. But... You, you couldn't just stroll in here and and one shot everything which which was really nice I mean I I like I like the mechanic there, there's plenty of people who don't I I always really rather liked it you also level these up separate from your other gear you you collect uh, Aegis uh, I can't think of the word uh, Aegis Aegis I don't, Aegis research from enemies that drop it Oh, oh, Arlie, yeah, these, um, the icons here, every, th the shortcuts here, the shinies, the otter toys, those are all just bags that I personally pinned. The, the only actual secret world icons are this Z here, and then the, the seven spot action bar here. All, all of these are just bags I have pinned because it's, it's stuff I use a lot. And these aren't even anything I necessarily need. They're just my for fun items. I've got Nasir's dance. I've got the dancing shoes. I've got the flute, the uh, the Halloween, the paranormal shortwave, and uh, my torch. So that's yeah, that's not even something I need. Same thing with my inventory here. At least this entire section plus the flares. That's nothing I need on me. It's stuff I like having on me. Like, you know, what if I want to plop a snowman in the middle of uh, Arachi Tower? You know, what, what would I do if my snowman was sitting in the bank, huh? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a hoarder in game. Just a little bit. <laughs> Snowman, Merry Christmas! Yeah, I, I didn't play with a lot of add-ons, Magatai, originally. I do have a few now. Um, the top hat up here is where I, where I save all those clothing sets, so I don't have to hunt them down one piece at a time. This entire top bar is actually an add-on. The, the normal the normal one doesn't have quite this much information up top. Uh, what else? This is called Shout Out. It's usually something we only use during events. If you click it, if you click it, it, it basically it gives all of the information. Like if you cited a world boss, it gives a little link that people can auto meet up on you and it gives the location of the boss. And it's, it's, it's just simpler than having to actually type everything in. Um, I've got Friends Enhanced, which I don't even know if I need anymore. 
So, some some of this stuff you don't necessarily need after some of the newer Secret World updates. I'm just I'm used to having them. This is a pet handler that will auto summon pets for me if I wanted to. The dice here is the auto um, need auto need greed pass add-on that. Uh, Again, I, I mostly started doing that. Like, well, like when I run with Jen, we run a lot of things that they, they don't they don't need a lot of what uh, what drops. So if I can just auto greet it, um, this guy here, this is kind of I consider it for me kind of a cheat. This is auto select Aegis. With the Aegis shields, you're supposed to manually key in. Um, you you can hotkey swapping swapping the shields and then you swap them to whatever your enemy has there's this mod and a couple others that will do that switching for you automatically i i don't really like using it because i i actually like i i like the ages i like that you have to think on your toes and swap your stuff but again, if I'm dungeon running with Janet's crew, they're, they're, or really anybody else that actually knows what they're doing, I don't want to wipe just because I don't switch my ages fast enough. And obviously tonight, I'm, yeah, I, I am not awake enough to uh, <laughs> try to be doing ages. So those, I think, are the only add-ons I have. Oh, and then Ultimate Crafter. I did do the Ultimate Crafter because I like that it, you, once you set the settings, it will auto break down and auto upgrade your stuff. And a lot of the time when I'm running regular missions, I'll hang on to uh, these crafting pieces that are below my level. And then I'll just, you know, break everything down, upgrade it all down, upgrade it, you know, all at once. And it'll upgrade into things I can actually use. Which is one of the other nice things about the secret world, the stuff enemies drop. If you collect it enough and upgrade it enough, it's it's always useful. It's never just trash. Okay, so Arlie, no, it is not normal for the Orochi to keep werewolves. And <laughs> that is not actually a Tiger Man. That is, um, it's in beta. That's, uh, the story with Tokyo, right, is that the, the Illuminati, the Templar, and the Dragon don't really have anybody in, in Tokyo, right? And Beta here has business arrangements with Kirsten Gary and the Illuminati. Uh, this lovely lady here, Gozen, has connections with the Templars. And Jamin Kiata over here, yeah, he's, he's his own thing. He has interest in the dragon. Dragons are all kind of chaotic. It's it's really hard to pin down their plans. But anyway, so you, you've got these three leaders that are not actually the factions, but the factions are courting them, or they're courting the factions. And this guy here, and th this is going to be spoilers. This is going to be spoilers. This guy here is the one who convinced these two to team up long enough to take down the Orochi. Yeah, Gozen, Gozen's from Tokyo, too. These are all from Tokyo. But this guy here... Because these two hate each... You know, the, the different factions here hate each other even more than, like, the regular factions. Gozen cannot stand demons. Um, but he convinced them to come together to help take down the Orochi Tower, and... There's, there's some interesting fallout from that. Uh, the fact that he was able to, to do so. I will talk TSW lore all day if you give me a chance. There is so much story and so much lore in the game. I, I yeah, I, I can sit here and talk lore forever. There are some super cool theories on the lore forums for who Gozen might actually be in terms of, uh, like, mythical folklore and historical people. And uh, the same thing here with uh, my little dragon buddy. TSW devs tend to drop a lot of hints that in most games it might be stretching it, but they, they do it on purpose. Most of what they do here in the game is based on real-life folklore, real-life history, real-life stories, 
So you can sometimes pick up just, you know, a little tidbit that they've left and figure out a lot more about the backstory of, uh, of the characters and, and why they might be doing what they're doing. Yeah, here, you, you can see Invader really wants to be, wants to be in with the Illuminati. He's, he's got his people dressing as if they are. Then that mask is awesome. Maybe that's what I should do. We should, we should go run one of Invader's missions. That, uh, that could be entertaining. I like him. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's my boy. <laughs> Only the secret world could make me be like, oh yeah, that demon? Yeah, he's, he's, he's my boy there. That's, that's my guy. No, Loki, you also cannot have my Frappuccino. Frappuccinos are not for dogs. I'm not going to run the... Oh, there's a giant Flappy up there. That is so disconcerting when you first come into Tokyo. Um, I am not going to run the story mission that Inveta gives. And not just so I don't spoil things, but because that story mission is what leads you to the Fear Nothing Foundation mission, and I will not run that on stream. There is no way I will run that on stream. That's something that you, you need to run solo. You, you need to not talk through, you, you need to just... <laughs> Immersion is overused, but you need to really just, you know, turn out the lights and really get into that one. And I'm I'm not going to spoil it by trying to run it on a stream. But he does have some other missions I can run. When you hear talking, like people talking, it's the mask talking. It's a long oh, story. We are discussing if we can claim the bounty for this one. We aren't the ones who killed him. That's a big part of the problem. There is somebody else working the contract. A third party. An unknown variable. Invader doesn't mind sharing profit or even forming an alliance when it suits him. But this person is always two steps ahead. These are killing wounds, delivered precisely and with no wasted motion. There isn't another mark on him, which means that we are dealing with a professional of the highest caliber. Looks like this fellow didn't make the cut. Yeah! <laughs> My master suggests that you are culturally ignorant. He's not interested in playing a game of who's the better killer. He wants you to go to the site of this killing and figure out who is killing these people and why. And he wants you to take me... Wait, what? Invader wants you to take me along. 
He thinks my talents might come in handy. <coughs> this is my sister mask. I can transfer my consciousness to it. The frowning mask. It always makes me so depressed. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the best thing he ever bought off eBay. Mops, in my humble opinion, this game is amazing. And, oh my god! And, uh, and, and it just crashed on me again. I, I think it really doesn't like me uh, hitting buttons while it's trying to load. I really think, because that's, that's when it keeps doing it. I'll, I'll get it up again in a second, but um, yeah, the reference is there. That is the plus of doing a modern day MMO. They don't do it a lot, but you can get away with it a little bit. Oh, it'll, it'll come back, Arlie. Uh, oh, Latin, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Latin Rule. Thank you. The Aegis auto up auto update thing I think it's just like Aegis auto something. I, I, I downloaded it through the curse client. I can when I get the game back up I can I can see what the exact name is, but it's one of the ones I got off of the uh, curse client. I guess like I said, my, my two cents is maybe once you get comfortable with Aegis, you know, at least play around a little bit with doing it manually just because it's it's to me it's a fun experience but on the other hand i know a lot of other people can't stand it so i'm i'm not going to claim claim superiority there yes arlie better than a pandaren explaining he took an arrow to the knee these guys have an excuse they live in our world if they didn't make any reference jokes it would be odd Yeah, same here. Curse makes things much easier. And yeah, as I mentioned, the game isn't usually quite this crashy, but I'm also usually not streaming it, and it's not usually extra life, and uh, yeah.
In Data's mask is fabulous. I love him. Oh yeah, in Latin Rope, the teachers, yeah, they're de they're definitely not normal mobs. Um, avoiding them is good, but yeah, if, if you can't avoid them, that's uh, yeah, they're not fun. Don't be fooled by the shroud of incompetence my master drapes around himself. You are expendable. And if you find the killer, he doesn't expect you to survive. There is no risk to me, however, and Invader will expect me to return and give a full report. Imbeda is a huge fan of the Illuminati and of Kirsten Geary. A very big fan. I love the music in here. I love the music in this area. <laughs> oh, I ran right past the death report. I am awesome. <laughs> Fabulous early. Oh, and here, here's my regular, my regular warning. I am running this in low settings because I'm streaming. If you run it in higher settings, the game is freaking gorgeous. I, I think it's pretty nice even on low, but let's not upskirt in beta. This is an investigation mission. I have run it before, but we'll see if I actually remember where I need to go or not. It's one of the ones where they introduce a very neat mechanic with the mask, too. They, they sprinkle in missions. They like to sprinkle in missions with new mechanics every once in a while. Uh, I know I want to go across the street, but I forget across the street where. accidentally aggroed much more than I wanted. Yeah, Arlie, I can usually run... 
I can run most of TSW and Ultra. Tokyo is kind of sketchy sometimes. I usually run that in high or even medium if it's uh, if it's being difficult. And then the group stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I know I was just realizing I don't think I ever swapped my ages back out when I was when I was running the dungeon with uh, the rest of Otterdown. I had to put on different uh, ages stuff. Yeah, I've still got shield stuff on, and I'm not even in the part of uh, Tokyo where you need the shield. So I'm going to fix that, I think. That will probably help. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Oh, that's right. That's the one that I can't put on until my one is actually up to 1.9. That that would be my issue. There we go, that should help. Okay, I thought that was a player. You never know. I detest the color, texture, and scent of blood. This is where they found the body. But was this where he was killed? Again, I already know where this is. If you don't know where this is, it, it you know, you, you gotta follow the trail, you gotta find the handprint. Listen, I haven't got much time. Someone is following me. I've written my last report, but I can't trust this drop. I've left my report somewhere else, somewhere only we could find it. Do you remember when we got drunk and Hiroto stopped to take a piss? I've left it there. I'm getting out now. The Prometheus. Oh! I am conversant in more than just languages. No is the study of emotion, conveyed through focus and nuance. Strong emotion leaves traces, psychic signals in the very air. The time has come. Put me on. I will show you what I mean. See the fragments of the human condition and the story that they tell. But alas, they do not linger, and neither should we. And no trail for the killer. An empty soul, then, bereft of the finest parts of humanity. I got a monster achieve in there. Sweet, and I can upgrade my Aegis. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm totally taking a timeout to upgrade that quick. <laughs> the timer will restart. I'll, uh, it'll be okay. Having just one of these little guys up to 1.9 means I can equip that 1.9 um, extra damage boost that I wanted. It also means that the very next upgrade for this one is going to be using this purple container, which will bring it up to 2.0, which is really good. Yeah, that, that can help, Latin Roll. And I'm sure a lot of players get tired of hearing this, but before they made some adjustments in Tokyo, it was even more expensive to buy the uh, the memory expansions. It was, uh, it, it took a lot longer to, uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I would be glad to, honestly. But you know, in a way it works out though, because the people who got to Tokyo first were a lot of the endgame players who had been waiting for new challenging content for a while. So when they first got in, they got their challenge. Um, and then as the devs got more feedback, you know, they, they adjusted things so that more players could enjoy it. Okay, back to what I was doing. This is always so bizarre. I keep thinking to myself, oh, you know, I'm, I'm getting tired. I should probably go to bed. And no, no, I, I took the weekend off for a reason. And it's because I won't have to. Took the weekend off from both jobs, which uh, was quite the feat. The other nice thing about Aegis is that no matter how much you pump up your Aegis here, it's only going to help you in Tokyo. You can't, you know, you can't ramp up here and then, you know, plow down earlier enemies any more easily than you could with just the better gear. So there's, I think, you know, I think it really helped with the uh, like power creep issues. I, I know there's still plenty to juggle, but. Yeah, yeah, the first few times in Tokyo are, they're impressive. They, you've, you've got the new mechanic with Aegis, the enemies are also faster, and they do a lot more AoEs. You have to be much more on top of things with your dodging here, and that, that can take a lot of getting used to. 
I was saying earlier, I was running missions in Savage Coast, and I was talking about how after you spend enough time in Tokyo, the, you know, the Akab really aren't that bad anymore. <laughs> Yeah, if you pay attention, you, you can run around most of the enemies. It just requires you not actually paying attention to what you're doing. I say this as I have a straggler. So whoever is killing these people has a reason. If we can find out what connects them, we might discover who is leading our fierce competition. Since I don't have legs, I'll trust you to find our way. The pachinko parlor they mention here that is the base of the dragon dude of uh, Damon. You so you missed. Oh, I gotta see if it's still reason. in my mission logs or not. If we can find out what connects them, we might discover who is leading our fierce competition. Here you go. Since I don't have legs, I'll trust you to find our way. No, dr dragon, dragon, the faction dragon. He's not, yeah, he's not actually in the dragon faction, but he's courting him. Anyway, I was thinking about you earlier, because I just realized that in the beginning of this mission text, uh, it's it's got your name there, dude. I, I'm, I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that our, our competition killed you, but... Uh... <laughs> and also, hi, and thanks for popping in. Uh, some of, and some of the Orochi do try to make mythical creature hybrids. They, uh, they're into all kinds of not, not very pleasant stuff. Okay, now I've got to remember where I'm going for this. I want to say I keep following the emotion trail. Uh, nope. Or at least not that direction. Oh, thank you, Latin Rule. Oh, Kobayashi, I don't want to see you dead. That was just really ironic timing for you to pop into the stream. Oh, am I being herp derp Do we just run right back here again? Oh, or I could get snagged. Well. 
so my dog is trying to kill me. He nudged my hand in such a way that I brought up the steam overlay when I needed to be fighting. Thank you, Loki. I, I appreciate that you, you aren't happy that I've been on the computer all day, but it would be nice if you, yeah, yeah, I don't need you trying to kill me. That's, that's not very nice. Uh, what was I doing? I was gonna check and see if I just needed to go back where I was. <laughs> nope. know where I want to be. I want to say it's right around there. Like Arlie was saying, the best part about the investigation missions is if you give them enough time, running them again is like running them for the first time. Now these demon, that these demon, these oni, the, Loki, <laughs> Loki's my dog. Um, these oni, these demons, have an interesting story. They are not on the same side as in Beta. In Beta has been here for some time. He, he's um, <laughs> not highly regarded in Hell. But, uh, you know, he built himself a nice life here, being an assassin, you know, he's, he's got his awesome robe, he's doing cool. And now all these other demons are coming in and screwing with what he's already got set up. So that's why some of those guys are fighting me and some of them are not, because they are not all playing for the same team. Oh, I'm just gonna walk right into that one. No, that wasn't where I want to go either. <laughs> Welcome to investigation missions after, uh, tsh -tsh, what, is it like 14 hours of streaming now? real worried about spoiling it for myself. If I uh, don't make progress soon, I will pull out my old notes and, uh, and do it that way. I swear I just need to go to the main plaza though.
There we go. trying to think of the word I want <laughs> for in beta because it's it's not banished and I, I can't I can't think of the right word it is definitely that time of night Oh uh, well. Uh, Magatai, they're they're letting you uh, preload today. Yes, exiled. Thank you, Mentita. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and hi, thanks for joining us. Yes, exiled is exactly the word I wanted. Uh, but yeah, Magatai, they're they're doing preloads. Um, I actually I pre-ordered a physical copy because I wanted the Pit Boy edition which I might now be giving away to somebody, because reasons. Um, I really don't think he's going to be listening to my stream, but you never know. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing the almost 15 hours into the stream, trying to run an investigation mission that I, I, I have done before. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There were two people here. Both of them used the drop point, but I can't tell you what and when. Neither of them were feeling any strong emotion when they arrived here, but they were both feeling something when they left. The dark purple represents frustration, and that blue is the color of confidence. Your call. I am checking something soon. Yeah! Yeah, somebody totally donated $60. And I, I totally met my, my new goal again. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not even sure what to say. That's, that's awesome. Oh, and it was sneaky, sneaky anonymous too. Well, if if you're listening, I wow, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> wow. I I can't believe I have to um <laughs> raise the raise the goal level again. That's that's really awesome. I I am wording so well right now. Yeah, Arlie, I, I'm just I'm just gonna have a moment. <laughs> wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As uh, as, as I mentioned, the children, the it's it's um Gillette Children's that's nearest to me, and they have actually treated my nephew. So, 
So giving back to them is uh, is pretty important to me. I'm totally not going to have enough time to do this now, but that's okay. I never remember which one I'm supposed to follow either. Magatai, it's it's a conspiracy. It's not the Illuminati though, because I'm not in on it. <laughs> I'm probably following the wrong trail, because I always follow the wrong trail first. Oh no, no, I I followed the right one this time. I so have followed the right one this time. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did. You know, Arlie, if you're dying here with highlights, I would need to double check with with the retail job. I, I know the girls at the shelter would be fine with it. Um, and the, well, I guess it doesn't have to be a big mystery. The Walgreens I'm working at, um, like, you know, they're fine with everyone's piercings and and all of that. But I'm, I'm also supposed to be a shift lead. I, I would re I would really have to check with my boss before I colored like all of my hair. <laughs> and I never remember the password here, so I'm gonna go dig out my notes because I don't feel like doing it the right way. The right way to find the password is it gives you that hint. Um, and you're supposed to look through that statue in in the right direction, and uh, it'll it'll give you the password. It's it's super clever if <laughs> you know if you do it the right way. Uh, oh, that's right. I know where I gotta go. Yeah, I might as well just run there.
You are not authorized. You are not authorized. Oh my god, it's lore I haven't found yet. That is a super rare occurrence. weird. I thought I already had that one. I must be wrong. Mm. Yeah, I did pick the right one. <laughs> I am just doing something on Twitter quick here. There we go. Best let me take a look. Death seems pretty emotional for some people. I love it. For some people. This is strange. Those pink threads in the air. That's love. And that other one, the dark green flecked with grey. That's envy tinged with amusement. I'd almost guess that these people weren't murdered at all. Could they have... killed themselves? I do hope so. Romeo and Juliet is an old favorite of mine. So they stopped here on their way to the suicide site. Whatever they did, it was the last thing they ever did. Except pulling the trigger, of course.
Sorry, got got distracted. <laughs> when I say got distracted with Twitter, it is extra life stuff on Twitter. I'm uh, I'm just moving into being so tired. I forget to let you guys know that that's where I went. Yeah, J Janet and I are going to have to figure out how we're going to do that poll to pick the color. Because I don't want anybody left out who maybe was in the stream earlier but couldn't hang around. You know, in theory, we were all doing like uh, prize giveaways and stuff too, which uh, we should also figure out when we're going to do. <laughs> Okay, and this one I am definitely going to cheat and use my notes. This is another one that you you could run back and, and figure out what you're supposed to do, but I'm I'm not gonna backtrack on the stream. I never get this on the first try, even with my notes. I love it. I'm always missing something. I'm very good at that. Not what I'm missing.
There is always like one piece that I miss. There we go. To whom this may concern. Prometheus initiative for 12 months. My assignment was the Manticore facility on the mainland, ensuring that military grade equipment was shipped to various Prometheus locations across the globe. During this period, I was also assigned as the point of contact for other embedded operatives throughout the area. Since the incident, I have received no communication, no backup, and no explanation from my superiors. I have been trained in survival, but the horrors visited upon this city are beyond contemplation. And now somebody is killing us, one by one. Hunting down and destroying the members of the Prometheus Initiative. I saw Daichi dead by the wall. He'd been... butchered. This will be my last communication. I... We no longer wish to be a part of this. If we... And love bursts into the world. It's a shame we saw the end of the plot before the beginning. A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Now I've got to remember which direction uh, the body is that I want, because I honestly don't remember.
There is a side mission in this in this one that, uh, or not a side mission, an offshoot that you can take in the mission that will earn you an achievement <clears throat> and present you with a, a very sad story. I'm not going to run that. Um, if, uh, if you guys play this mission, then you can find it yourself. Loki, do not put your head right... This dog is putting his head right on my hands as I'm trying to play. He, uh... He knows what he's doing! Yeah, when you're not careful, you get to aggro everything. I just realized I probably don't have something set on here that I usually do. I am not saying that hit and run is the optimal passive to have, but it entertains me. I like having it on. See, in this, this I love. Do you see how small that is? And it's, it's not, you know, it's not highlighted as an interactable item. If you get right over it, you can get that, but it's not, um, it doesn't have the yellow outline. I love when they do that for investigation missions, and you have to really actually look at what you're doing. And this is actually relevant to what we're doing. We know Takumi went west from here. That leaves us with three options. All going north. So, north then? Behold the entwined emotions of humanity. What's your pleasure? Rage or joy? Lust or love? Cowardice or courage? So This next one is ridiculously tricky and clever, and I love it. Right down here. Right down here. And the hint for the password? Yeah. 
count 99 seconds and pluck two words out of my heart-shaped box. You, um, you need to listen to heart-shaped box and find out what lyrics are 99 seconds in. And I think I remember what it is. Yep. to something here. A guilt-ridden killer sneaking out the back door of the Love Hotel. It doesn't exactly match the signs we've seen so far, but it is the best lead we have. <laughs> that that is a valid point. It did not make us listen to Baby Got Back or anything. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that when you put on the mask, you you actually do put on the mask. This is it then, the end of the rabbit hole, and no convenient bottle labeled drink me. I must return to my master before he grows impatient and smashes my mask. You should keep this one. You never know when I might drop in for a visit. And you do get a mask item uh, when you complete this, if I remember correctly. Yep, you get the frowning mask. It goes straight into your uh, clothing options. This is one of the interesting me messages. Uh, this is not from Kirsten Geary. This is not from my handler. This is from another NPC that we meet very briefly. Uh, and you know, maybe maybe I won't spoil how how we meet this one. But it's always interesting when somebody else sends us the, uh, the mission turn in information. I want to... <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the happy mask. I got the frowny mask. I think we should meet uh, Damon now. I think we should totally run some of his missions. <laughs> 